the other day I was back in the school helping and one of the little boys got upset. His anxiety raged and he just couldn't control himself. It's interesting how preschoolers are now suffering from anxiety. I see it in adults. I even see it myself. And so many times we can't get control of our anxiety and we wonder how in the world are we going to get through certain situations where our emotions are raised at a heightened elevation. Paul, the Apostle Paul, who wrote over half of the New Testament, he must have been dealing with some anxiety. I mean, think about it. He's been shipwrecked, bit by snakes. He's been in jail, constant persecution. Could you imagine the anxiety that he had? But he says something interesting in Philippians 4, uh, starting in verse 4. He says, rejoice in the Lord. Then he goes on to say, be anxious about nothing. That's easier said than done, isn't it? When you know, you're upset and someone says, calm down, it usually gets you more upset. You know, and definitely, guys, we don't tell our wives that, right? That's a great way to get into a big argument or make it worse. But Paul tells us, don't be anxious about anything. But then he goes on and tells us how to not be anxious. He says, by prayer and petition and giving it to God. You know, probably one of the best things when we're anxious, when we're upset, or we just feel out of control is maybe take a minute, take a breather, and pray. Take it to God. Say, God, I, I, I need to unhand this to you. I, I can't handle this. It's out of my control. I'm upset. I'm about to make a bad decision. I'm about to say words I, I shouldn't say. God, I need you to take this because you are the creator of all things and you are the master and the king and the authority and the alpha, omega, the beginning and the end. Lord, you are all in all, so I need to give this to you. Please take it from me. I think that's one of the great things about God that we rarely do. We, we say we want to give it to God, but are you literally calling on God and unleashing it and letting it go and setting calmly, taking some breaths and trusting God? I'm sure it'll take a little practice, it'll take a little time, but the more you and I practice this little exercise of calming, breathing, slowing down, giving it to God in prayer, I promise you anxiety will begin to lower. Listen, anxiety is hitting kids, little children in preschool before they get to kindergarten. Could you imagine the anxiety level these kids might have by the time they hit our age? Maybe you were that kid. You had anxiety as a child. You never learned to let it go. Uh, listen, I pray today you begin this exercise of slowing down, deeper breaths, praying, petitioning God, giving it over him, and trying your best to let it go and not to be anxious about anything. I remember as a kid, I was anxious to go on field trips. Uh, my first date with Susan, I was anxious. These days, I'm not as anxious. I, I, I still get nervous around my wife because she's so beautiful. But I try not to be so anxious about stuff because I firmly believe God is in control. Hey, in case I haven't told you lately, God loves you and so do I. I pray I see you soon. 